Before we dive into the fascinating story of Olivia Grosvenor, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing stories like this one. Olivia Grosvenor, a name that rings with sophistication and a hint of mystery, a name that resonates through the grand halls of British high society, echoing with tales of talent, professionalism, and modest beginnings. Yet behind this public image of a self-made success, there lies a hidden truth, a secret so well-veiled it would stupefy even the most discerning. This truth is not some scandalous revelation or a dark family secret. No, it is a tale of lineage, of heritage, of a bloodline that traces back to some of the most storied old money dynasties and British aristocracy. And it all begins with Olivia, the accomplished commoner as she appeared to be. Beneath the exterior of a dedicated professional, Olivia Grosvenor holds a lineage that is far from ordinary. She is not just a talented individual who climbed the social ladder through sheer perseverance and hard work. She is, in fact, a descendant of legendary banking families, a lineage so rich and powerful it could make the most affluent aristocrats blush. From the outside looking in, Olivia seemed to be a woman of the people, a beacon of hope for those who believe in the power of self-made success. But behind the closed doors of her family's estate, a different story unfolds. A story that is intertwined with the history of British aristocracy. A story that includes not one, but two dukes, addition to the one she's about to marry. This revelation, this unveiling of a secret lineage, is not merely a tale of surprise, but a testament to the complexities and paradoxes that often hide within the corridors of the aristocratic world. It is a tale that serves as a reminder that appearances can be deceiving, and that beneath the surface of the ordinary often lies the extraordinary. Olivia Grosvenor, not merely the accomplished commoner she appeared to be, but a descendant of legendary banking families and British dukes. A story that is as captivating as it is unexpected, a story that is only just beginning to unfold. Olivia's leap from the ordinary to the ornate halls of British aristocracy is like a plot lifted straight from a fairy tale. Born on the 1st of September 1992, our protagonist Olivia initially navigated life under the radar, dedicating her days to the noble cause at Bellazoo. Now, this wasn't just any food company. Bellazoo was the ethical gourmet dream serving up a smorgasbord of Mediterranean delights. As a senior account manager, Olivia was the maestro behind these culinary gems ensuring they tickled the taste buds while maintaining a green conscience. But as fate would have it, Olivia's storyline was due for a dazzling twist. Enter Hugh Grosvenor, the seventh Duke of Westminster, a man whose very name drips with wealth and prestige. Hugh's roots dig deep into the rich soil of British history, so much so that royal blood practically flows through his veins, with King Charles III as his godfather and Prince George as his unofficial nephew. Yet despite his royal connections and a title that could open any door in London, Hugh or Huey to his mates, preferred the simple joys in life. Think more beer garden than gala balls. The love saga between Olivia and Hugh unfolded quietly, far from the media's watchful eyes. Their engagement broke the internet, not with pomp and pageantry, but with a candid snap that screamed, just chilling. This marked the start of their shared journey into the echelons of the uber-rich. Oh and about those riches. Hugh's wallet is thick, with a net worth of 9.8 billion, making him one of Britain's heftiest wallets on legs. This isn't just pocket change. It's the kind of wealth that buys not just luxury, but entire slices of London's most elite neighborhoods. The love saga between Olivia and Hugh unfolded quietly, far from the media's watchful eyes. Their engagement broke the internet in April 2023, not with a knee-dropping spectacle, but with a candid, heartfelt snap. A moment of pure, unscripted romance, captured within the historic walls of Eaton Hall in Cheshire. A place seeping with so much history, it whispers tales of time gone by. This marked the beginning of their shared journey into the stratosphere of the ultra-wealthy. Speaking of wealth, let's take a moment to discuss Hugh Grosvenor, the seventh Duke of Westminster. His wallet isn't just hefty, it's colossal. We're talking about a staggering net worth of 9.8 billion pounds. That's right, billion with a B. This isn't just a comfortable nest egg. It's the kind of fortune that commands not just luxury, 
but entire slices of London's most elite neighborhoods. The Grosvenor Estate isn't just a property, it's a kingdom. It spans the most coveted patches of the city, where real estate prices would make even the Monopoly man blush. From Mayfair to Belgravia, the Grosvenor name is etched into the very fabric of these prestigious postcodes. And then there's the Eaton Estate, a pastoral paradise that offers a tranquil counterpoint to the urban expanse. It's an idyllic retreat, a place where city sounds fade into the serene melodies of the countryside. Once they tie the knot, Olivia and Hugh plan to oscillate between their urban palace in London, close enough to Buckingham Palace to borrow a cup of sugar from the Queen herself, and the bucolic bliss of Eaton Hall. Their engagement didn't just break the internet, it shattered the expectations of society, introducing a new narrative of love and legacy within the gilded corridors of British aristocracy. The Grosvenor Estate isn't just vast, it's a sprawling empire that spans the most coveted patches of the city. Once hitched, Olivia and Hugh plan to oscillate between the high life in a London flat and the bucolic bliss of Eaton Hall. Their life, post-wedding, promises to be a fascinating blend of city sophistication and countryside charm. Imagine swapping the buzzing streets of London, where they rub shoulders with the elite, for the tranquil serenity of Eaton Hall, nestled amid the lush Cheshire countryside. In London, their lives will be encased in the lap of luxury, residing in one of the most sought-after neighborhoods. Their flat, a stone's throw away from Buckingham Palace, is not just a home, but a symbol of their status. Here, they'll navigate the bustle of high society, attend glamorous events, and indulge in the finest that the city has to offer. But there's more to their story than just city living. Eaton Hall, their country estate, offers a stark contrast to their urban abode. This is where they will retreat to escape the city's constant hum. At Eaton Hall, they'll swap their formal attire for comfortable country gear, exchanging the city's concrete jungle for rolling green pastures. Here, they can breathe in the fresh country air, enjoy leisurely walks, and soak up the peaceful ambiance that the estate provides. But let's not forget the grand event that is to kickstart this splendid life. Their June nuptials, set to take place at the historic Chester Cathedral, promise to be the social event of the season. A fairy tale wedding in a majestic setting, it's sure to draw the attention of both high society and the public at large. We can expect the ceremony to be a blend of tradition and modernity, reflecting both their aristocratic heritage and their contemporary tastes. The guest list is bound to read like a who's who of British society, with the cream of the aristocracy, royalty, and the business world in attendance. Their June nuptials are set to be the social event of the season with Chester Cathedral playing host. It's an occasion that promises to be a beautiful beginning to their journey as the Duke and Duchess. Olivia's secret lineage has far-reaching implications. As we delve deeper into the world of aristocracy, we uncover the layers of Olivia's lineage. It's not just a tale of rags to riches or the commoner to queen narrative we've come to associate with fairy tales. Instead, it's a saga of hidden truths and clandestine lineages, of dukes and duchesses, banking moguls and old money dynasties. The revelation of Olivia's secret lineage contrasts sharply with her public image. She was seen as a self-made individual, a professional who climbed the societal ladder through hard work and determination. But beneath this image lies a history intertwined with the very fabric of British high society. This contrast presents a fascinating dichotomy, an interplay between the image of a self-made woman and the reality of a blue-blooded aristocrat. This turn of events doesn't just redefine her public image, but also her role in the British aristocracy. As a descendant of storied old money dynasties and the future wife of the seventh Duke of Westminster, Olivia is poised to etch her place in the annals of British high society. She's not just marrying into aristocracy, she's returning to it, to a legacy that's been hers all along. The implications of this lineage extend beyond just her. It also impacts the narrative of aristocracy itself. It challenges the stereotypes, the narratives we've come to associate with the world of aristocrats. It's no longer about the commoner infiltrating the ranks, but about the aristocrat returning to her roots. 
It's about the unfolding of a story that's been years, generations even, in the making. Indeed, this lineage sets the stage for Olivia's future in the British aristocracy. It's a future that's not just about the wealth and the titles, but also about the legacy, the history, and the traditions. It's about navigating the gilded corridors of power, of stepping into shoes that have been hers all along, unbeknownst to her and to the world. Indeed, Olivia's secret lineage redefines her public image and sets a new narrative for her future in the world of British aristocracy. And there you have it, the intriguing tale of Olivia's secret lineage, a fascinating blend of modern-day ambition and hidden aristocratic heritage. This story serves as a reminder of the rich tapestry that forms the backdrop of our lives. It's a tale that challenges stereotypes, a narrative that redefines what it means to be an aristocrat in today's world. But most importantly, it's a tale that's still being written, with Olivia at the helm, navigating the treacherous yet exciting waters of British high society. If you found this story as gripping as we did, why not share it with your friends? Let's get the conversation started in the comments section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Olivia's journey, her secret lineage, and its far-reaching implications. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your likes and shares help us bring more such intriguing stories to you. And don't forget, if you haven't already, hit that bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Stay tuned as we continue to unravel the fascinating world of aristocracy, hidden lineages, and the people who navigate them. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep watching.